All right, I think maybe we are live. And if we are, good evening. We are in Norman, Oklahoma, and I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. What I'm gonna try to do here is do a bit of coverage simultaneously. Circulation starting to get a little wrapped in precipitation here. I was just joining. Good evening. I'm David Reimer. It is 7:44 on the 11th of May, 2023. Norman, Oklahoma, the west sides of Norman specifically. Starting to see a bit of an uptick in organization with this wall cloud. A lot of scud being pulled in from the what or the north. This is why I had to stop live coverage. Because I'm located about three miles from my house slash office. Still looking at a distance, but you can see beaver tail inflow band coming in from the north, circulation there in the left center. For those asking if I'm safe, yeah, I have, I'm perfectly good right now. This is still several miles to my west, that's your wall cloud, and it looks like we're starting to get some Tightened up rotation. And this is the circulation by Newcastle. Reason I'm sitting here versus getting closer right now is the storm's moving at me, and there's a river, the Canadian River, between my location and where the storm is right now. And I'm staying on the east side of that river, so I am able to keep up with this storm. Be nice if my hotspot was working. All right, laptop, we're just gonna restart you because you're just making me mad now. Close lightning strike. We might be starting to get a CG or cloud to ground lightning barrage here which case we are going to have to roll the windows up a bit.
Nice thunder. Yes, this is David Reimer. My apologies for not setting up the description ahead of time. I wasn't exactly planning on being out and chasing today. There is something in the foreground that's getting my attention. We don't have the greatest contrast view here right now. But, almost looks like a bit of a cone funnel. And again, this is not heading into a good area. This is uh, heading into a populated area, Norman, Oklahoma. And it's about 7.49 p.m. It's the low-level jet, or the amount of low-level wind shear available to thunderstorms is increasing now, so... Unfortunately, this thunderstorm is entering an environment that is pretty conducive for tornado genesis. We have plenty of moisture. You can see some of the uh, strike. spot available. For those of you wondering, I am in my vehicle. Windows are open right now, but if we get much more big positive we're getting big old positive cloud to ground lightning strikes right now that may be a sign the storm's intensifying I will admit I haven't actually looked at radar in the last few minutes but that wall cloud doesn't look as organized in the last couple of minutes as it did starting to get some precipitation around it though And yes, we do have issues in Texas. Let me try and pull up my radar real quick and I'll go over those. As you might expect in a dense urban area when there's a dangerous storm approaching, cell data's come to a crawl. zoom back out. Here's a view of the storm. You can see a lot of rain wrapping around it now. Which means I'm going to have to reposition in a moment. I would suspect that's the rear flank downdraft swinging around on the circulation. So again, those of you in Chico and Wise County need to take your tornado safety precautions. Starting to get some precipitation here, which means I'm going to be repositioning myself in a moment. Let's see how well this cell phone enjoys that. Let me see if I can't lock the focus. There we go, so at least that won't do that again. Circulation clearly wrapped up in rain now. 
I'm trying to do is get some radar data open, and there we go, so I can see what is going on where. We're going to have to play this carefully because rain rod circulations are definitely dangerous. But for all intent of purposes, this one is coming right at me. It's your circulation back there. What we're going to have to do here pretty soon is get east. It looks like this thunderstorm is moving. Here, let me fix that. There you go. storm is moving at about 25 miles an hour, so not overly quickly. We may need to go south here a bit. Which is what we're going to do real quick. This storm is cycling. So what we're probably going to do is get east a bit here soon. You know, watch and look at the sky, see if we can see any motion. And you can definitely see the transition this has gone through in the last several minutes. We went from that well-defined wall cloud that was uh, under that rain-free base, that rear flank downdraft with the very uh, precipitation-loaded rear flank down drive at that wrapped around the circulation and cut off our view so what we'll be looking for now is any sort of rapid rotation or contrast enhanced circulations 